Hey guys, today we're checking out the ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming ITX AC motherboard. Now this thing's pretty cool. It is tiny, but it packs a lot in a small package. So let's jump in with the key features. So of course you can use this with all your 8th gen and 9th gen Intel CPUs. I tested it with the i9-9900K to really put it to the test. It supports DDR4 memory up to 4500 megahertz plus so that's pretty impressive it also has built-in dual band 802.11 ac wi-fi that's what the ac stands for in the name now it does have some lighting at the bottom but your gpu is most likely going to cover that and as far as audio goes it's coming with the alc 1220 codec which actually surprised me when i looked at that so that's really good too now as far as the board layout goes let's work from top to bottom We'll start in the top left. So you have a fan connector beside the 8-pin CPU power connector. And it's coming with 7 power phases with premium chokes and a decent heat sink for a small board, I gotta say. Now back up top, you've got your CPU uh, optional and CPU fan connectors plus an LED connector. Then you have your two memory slots, which are about the length of the whole motherboard, which shows you how small it is. Then uh, on the side, you have your RGB LED header if you're really into RGB, and of course your motherboard power connector. Then you have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 header under a chassis speaker header. Four SATA 6 ports beside the front panel header. And then it has two M.2 slots. So one is under a heatsink on the front, which does a really good job of keeping uh, your M.2 nice and cool. And there's another one on the back of the motherboard. Then it just has a single PCIe 3.0 times 16 slot with metal reinforcement, which is always good to see. And then you just have your USB 2.0 header and your front panel audio header over on the bottom left. So let's go around to the back then and check out the rear I.O. We'll work from left to right. So you can see just a clear CMOS button beside the Wi-Fi antenna ports. A PS2 port above two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. A display port, an HDMI port, two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports beside a single Thunderbolt 3 port, an RJ45 Ethernet port above two more USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, and then you just have all your audio connectors. So a pretty decent rare I.O. for a small motherboard. Now let's talk about the BIOS and how it went with the 9900K. So the BIOS is very clean very easy to use there's enough adjustability there for i think any level of user it's sort of easy enough that even if you're new you should be able to find your way around it no worries and if you're an enthusiast uh there's going to be enough to play with for you to be happy asrock does a really good job of sort of maintaining that balance which some of the other companies do struggle with at times now the 9900k ran just fine with it Granted, I didn't overclock it, and I I mean, I think you probably could, but I wouldn't recommend it with this board. Uh, the There's not that much headroom out of a 9900K anyway, so you're most likely going to be running it at stock. But with uh, multi-core enhancement on or off, it was just fine. No issues there with performance or anything like that, so it handled the 9900K uh, just fine. And so if you're going to be using that CPU with this motherboard, uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be really good for it. Which brings us to the conclusion then. I know this is a bit of a shorter video, but it is a smaller motherboard. So this is a, a good motherboard, it really is. Uh, something this small that can handle the 9900K without any issues is impressive to me. And they do seem to pack a lot in to a small package with this motherboard. I would definitely recommend it for anyone out there that's looking for a motherboard of this size. Uh, obviously you'd have to be a bit of an enthusiast to run the 9900k given the uh, performance of that chip but also the price of that chip so I would imagine many of you guys would be running something like the 9700k maybe or the 9600k in which case uh, this would be more than good enough for you and you'll be able to do overclocking with those chips as well I would imagine with no issues at all so yeah good motherboard Definitely recommend this one. Uh, look into it a bit more further though and check out the ASRock uh, page, the product page. I'll put it in the description down below if you want to get into any more of these specifications. Now, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you all next time.